what's going on everybody all right so in my in the previous video the college shoots video where i show you the you know that it's easy to install college hoops which is what i have up here guys um i showed you guys that you can create multiple wegua folders as i have here uh wait i don't know if you can see it let me uh all right like i have here all right, so I've got multiple Wegua folders, and if I want to switch between them, so like this is my NBA mods, uh, I just renamed this one to Wegua. But first, like this is my college one that I'm playing with. I would turn off the game, make sure the game is off when you're switching these. Um, that way, you don't mess up anything. Turn off the game. I would type in Wegua College, blah blah blah, or just rename it to whatever, and then I would rename this one to Wegua then restart the game and it would just have all my NBA mods but if you don't want to do it that way if you just have like a few mods I'll show you guys if you just have a few mods you can put a program called Jonesoft generic mod enabler inside of your Wegua folder and what that will do is you'll have that that file uh, that program and when you open it up as you can see here you can just enable and disable like if, if it's just like one face that you want to change every now and then sometimes you want the game's face sometimes you want your modded one like I can turn the mod on and then I can just turn it off you know uh, or like if I go to task and click load mod profile well first you would have to save one but um, load my profile and then I would find my mod profile wherever it is, which right now I don't know where they are, honestly. Oh, that sucks. But anyway, um, I would find it and it would load up a set of mods. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm confusing you guys any more or less. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... You guys can find this program. You can just go in on Google and search for JSGME and you know links will come up. You know, use use some discretion when deciding where to download it from. But that's up to you guys. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy let's see. Hold on one second. I'm going to take these files right here, copy them over to, let's see, NBA 2K, to this way Google folder that I'm currently using for college, and paste them in. All right, so now I'm going to click on JSGME. As you can see, I have no mods. So if I go to task and let's see, save my refresh list, there should be something. Hmm. Oh, I know what. When I click on the INI file, which is like the settings, I'll show you guys. click on the I and I file it'll tell you like right here at the very top it says mods folder so this is the folder that you've got to create I told them I want to name it um, mods so I will create a folder in here called mods but I'm actually going to change that to I'll just change it to extra mods all one word so now I've got to create a folder with that name. So let me save this, save, close. So I'm going to create a folder with that name. Paste, extra mods. So now I should be able to, all I have to do is uh, just start creating f folders and type in a name. So this one actually have a mod that I, I want already so let me delete that and go to 
Hold on one second, guys. Have another. I already have a mod that I want. Let's see. What was it? Well, I know I want this converted faces. Um, well, where'd everything go? Okay. I want converted faces. Hold on one second, guys. Let me just copy everything over. So I got the three folders of mods that I want. So, all right. So, um, where was I? Huh? It created a mods folder. How much? Uh, I guess it just automatically creates a mods folder. Oh no! I know why I created that. I don't need that folder though. I pasted shortcuts. I need to paste the actual files. All right. So now I go back to a good, go back to that JSGME. There it is. Okay. All right. So now I can, like, I can add just this young. But before I even. <laughs> I really hope I'm not confusing anybody. Um, this this one right here, before you add them, you can like explore that folder to see what mod is in it. And I already know it's a um, Justice Young Cyberface. I don't know who the other Cyberface is. Reggie Miller or something like that. All right, 6170. All right, so I just added it. So now I'm going to go in game. Oh, man. I'm going to find the March Madness roster. Uh, if it lets me search for anything. M2K20. All right, so now I'm going to see if I can um, change a player into, what's his name? Justice Young. So not Duke. Let's go to, I don't even know what college Justice Young supposedly went to. Let's do this. Let's just go to Louisville and see if we can put him. I'll put them in, in there. Let's use them on no trainer to do so. And dang it, I forgot. What was Justice Young's? It's either 6170 or 26170. These might be the same face, so I don't know. 26170. Let's see if it works. Yep, there we go. Got Justice Young. All right, so now he's in the college bond. There we go. That's all I had to do. And if I want to remove his face, let's say I want to remove his face, so I don't want that mod anymore. Um, I don't have to delete it here. All I have to do is just disable it here. 
and we're done. So, yeah, the reason I'm doing that is because, well, I'm doing this tutorial because I had to do this anyway because I want to see something with, let's see if I can find, if I go to, I'm going to see if I can import a female into this roster. Let's see what I can find. Come on, come on. Sorry, this video is so long. Uh, Created players, please work, please work. Uh, go all the way to the bottom. Uh, what is that girl's name? There she is. All right. So. Um, dang, gotta go back into Lenovo Trainer, unlock game editor, alright, come on, ah, it does work, cool, I think, I'm just trying to figure out if I could possibly make a female, um, NCAA roster, anyway, let me cut this video off. Uh, the most important thing from this video was showing you guys that you could also use generic mod and uh, mod enabler inside of each one of your um, side of each one of your Wegua folders. All right, guys, that's it for this video.